today is a special day. I am celebrating two years in the podcast game. I'm so super excited. I got special guests in the building. I have a special announcement. And um, I'm just excited, you know. So y'all going to party with me. Y'all know when I'm live streaming. I should have had some performances and stuff like that. But it was just one of those days. But hold on. Get into the best song that's not on the radio right now. Getting busy with me. I'm too busy being beautiful, loving and free. Getting busy with me. Getting busy with me. I'm too busy being beautiful, loving and free. Getting busy with me. Getting busy with me. She's too busy being beautiful. So guys, mo- most of you guys, if, you, if you've been following my journey, I always just say, you know, when I started this two years ago, I was so fearful. I could remember trying to get out of it, trying to get out the contract and like, is it too late? I could remember supposed to have like my first episode and I'm like, it took me like two or three months to even do one show. But if you look at my first show, which I had all these clips up until now, it's just, you know, I'm just blossoming into a beautiful butterfly. And I'm just, I'm just excited just to celebrate um, just my journey. And so it's okay to celebrate yourself sometimes, okay? Because a lot of times we're so hard on ourselves and we don't speak over ourselves. But I'm, look, I'm loving me today, okay? And then also, guys, you know that. Um, a lot. Also, also, you know that, um, what I was about to say. Oh, so guys, also, you guys know that on the show, you always see me, you know, I allow politicians to come on. Everybody knows how, um, special Trayon White is to the show. But when you in this business, you know, you got to open your platforms and, so I got Chris Cole in the building, guys. He's war- running for War 8 Council member. I don't know much about him, but, you know, it's okay. We're going to learn about him today. Busy with B-Way. I'm going to um, invite him up to the stage. So during the birthday shows, you know, I don't go to break. So you guys get to see the behind the scenes, all that good stuff. I got Linda Best in the building, right? She really lives up to that name, guys. And she's my personal therapist, life coach. I'm so excited to share her with you guys. I'm so excited to make this big announcement. So you guys got to tune in. Stay tuned for the whole show. But for now, I'm inviting Chris Cole. Chris Cole running for War 8 Council member. He's going to sit right here. Let me move my cupcakes. Cupcakes. Y'all better help me eat these cupcakes. Hi, Chris Cole. Welcome to the Busy With Me show. Let's get you, uh, get you, get your angles in it. Okay. Good evening, Busy With Me. Hey, thank you. Welcome. Welcome to the Busy With Me show. I really wanted to uh, get to know you. I mean, like I said on the show, if you watch my show or follow me, you know, Trayon is like home to him. He comes mm-hmm. here a lot. To me, he's very special. Thank you know you. what I mean? And so, but just tell us about yourself. Nice to meet you, first of all. Pleasure all mine. And yeah. um, I would definitely like to echo that sep- um, sentiment um, about your current council member. Everybody's special. Mm-hmm. You know, and I wouldn't take that away from anyone. So right. I definitely echo that sentiment, you know, yeah. and I thank you for having me here. Yeah. Uh, a little bit about me once again. My name is Christopher Cole. I'm an independent candidate for Ward 2020 City Council seat. I'm a fourth generation Washingtonian, uh, raised in the Congress Park area, 23rd Shipley area, uh, 15th and Savannah area. Okay. I went to Green, Malcolm X, Johnson, Blue. Uh, so, you know, that's a little bit about me. I'm currently today in my professional background, I'm a uh, certified paralegal. 
Okay. And I'm a certified paralegal. Thank you to the Department of Employment Services and the One Stop Center. Okay. Uh, while I was unemployed, I went to the One Stop Center after going through project empowerment, and they offered me an opportunity to become a certified paralegal, and they paid for it 100%. So thank you to the Department of Employment Services and One Stop Center for that. Hey. I'm also a human resources manager, uh, currently working for Anthony Walsh, who is the electrical contractor in War 7 of the District of Columbia, who's also a native Washingtonian uh, himself. Okay. Um, I've advocated for returning citizens under the Fair Criminal Record Screening Amendment Act of 2014. Slow down. You, you, you talking. Okay. Like, you, you, you talking. Just, just slow down no, a little bit. Yeah, you, you home. Okay. You know, you Please just relax. This human being is just all about okay. relaxing because, okay. like, we, you know, you know, Trey real popular. So we mm -hmm. need to really get to know you, you know. Okay. We need to get to know you. Slow down. Relax. Okay. I got you. Got you. So let me rewind that one. Um, I've advocated for returning citizens under the Fair Criminal Record Screening Amendment Act of 2014. I've made sure that over 100 companies have removed discriminative language from their application process okay. when, um, when individuals go to uh, fill out applications um, for these positions. Make sure that uh, they do not discriminate um, against them by asking them information that inquires about their background, whether directly or indirectly. Uh, so that's something that you know I was largely involved in. Uh, and a couple of years ago, I started a youth program called the Young Male Achievers in Ward 7, where I started out with four kids. Actually, just walking down the street, and they would always push out a buzzer, and then they would run. So I said, <laughs> one day I'm going to catch them. Uh -huh. And so you know we always knew what time they would come past. Right. So you know one day I was just prepared right. for them to come past. So they came past, they rang the buzzer, and they ran down the street. So I caught them, brought them back. And so I started talking to them. Um, Mr. Washman into development, uh, the 4800 Nanny Helen Burroughs, and has okay. extra space, and asked me that I want the space. So I started with four kids, um, which were males, and again, the program was called the Young Male Achievers, but when I finished, I had 27 males okay. and four girls. Um, the program was a really good program, and it just really taught, you know, life skills training okay. uh, to our kids, and it was a, a program that was, you know, we um, put out there, it was skillfully and tactfully put out on uh, okay. our So that's a little bit about Christopher that, Cole. There, okay. So it's nice to meet you. So now Thank I got to ask some questions, you know. Yes. And just like, what it, you know, what do you feel that you can bring to that, to the Ward A com community? I mean, special to this show, gun violence is just up there. You know, we dealing with a lot of depression, a lot of mental issues. You know, what is some of the things you, you think you can bring to the community? I, I think the main thing is influence. Um, we talk about influence, we talk about influence a mindset of upward mobility. Also influence a, a mindset of inclusiveness. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what we need right now. We, we're going, uh, our city, our, our world, or United States is going, the world is going through a pandemic yeah. right now, right? So we know even more our, our people in our community, you know, are going through a pandemic. And we want people to, you know, be influenced to want to work together, okay. speak together, mm -hmm. uh, share information together. Right, and a lot of that comes through influence of leadership. We want people to understand the importance of critical thinking and decision making. And when you're communicating with others, we want it to be effective. Right, when you're making decisions, we want it to be effective. A lot of this comes from the influence of the people that we're surrounded by. We know that a lot of it starts from home. But also, when people step out into the community, this is also an impact peer pressure. And peer pressure is not necessarily people that are the same age. Peer pressure comes from any individual that individuals are around, right, that can pressure them to want to do things. And a lot of people are involved with that peer pressure. So, again, the one thing that I will bring to Ward 8 is an influence, the influence for mindset to be a critical thinker, to be professional, to open up and be able to communicate with people. You know, just tear down, just tear down those walls. Even remove the red tape. Make sure the individuals are inclusive and make sure the individuals have access to all the information services and opportunities that this great city and the stakeholders have to offer because the reality of it is there are so many opportunities in Ward 8. And the reality of it is, second, is that people just don't have access. The mm -hmm. problem once people get access, then you have the red tape, right? Or it's, it's a click or who you know before we let you in. Mm -hmm. And this is the thing that we need to get rid of. We need to have inclusivity in our community. Mm -hmm. And all people all the way across the board should have equal access to information, services, and opportunities, and not just because of who you know. I agree with that. Um, so I guess, uh, it, should I ask you anything else? But why should we vote for you? Why should we vote for you? I think I, I would uh, add, uh, urge the people to vote for Christopher Cole because 
what I'm planning to do in our community is what's so needed, and that is bring funding to mental health services. We understand that mental health deals with the emotional, the psychological, and social well-being of our residents. It affects how individuals think, how they feel, and how they act. It also affects how individuals make decisions, how they deal with others, and how they handle stress. This is the biggest thing that is impacting our community today. It's the decision making and it's the thinking capabilities that has gun violence so rampant in our community. The, the, the reality of it is that 2005, the district put out a homicide reduction strategy which cut, which cut our homicides in half so to speak, because okay. it, when I was coming up in the 90s and late 80s, we were at a murder rate of 500 mm -hmm. every year, right? Today, that is cut in half. So the reality of it is, from my perspective and my experience, I believe that uh, our, our government is putting in some strategies that have been effective. Now, what my thing is, what are we doing as a community, hmm. right, to show these youth and to show each other how to be effective in walking through our communities and keeping our communities safe, especially when individuals are talking about protecting their own communities, uplifting their own communities, educating their communities. It starts with self, and it starts with our influence, and it starts with being consistent, it starts with character, and it starts with integrity. All of those things encompassed okay. together are very important, and these are the things that I will bring to Ward 8 as the next Ward 8 City Council member. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, nice to meet you. And, um, guys, you will have this footage, so you can always play it back and um, put it out there. I will send you the link. I will make sure I send it to your campaign manager. Is there anything else I should ask the youth in here? I feel like it's not a, a lot of recreation centers. It's, it's nothing to really do, you know. Playgrounds. So I just. It's more dog parks than playgrounds. Yeah. So I'm just. Like when when you think about running for council, it's just, it's it's nothing for the kids to do. So I think a lot of them getting caught up in the guns and you know peer pressure, social media, and everything else. And I just you know. Can, can I? You mind if I respond? I want you to. Well, I want you to. I'm I'm I'm, I'm all I'm all about um transparency and confidential disclosure. I'm a returning citizen myself. I'm from Congress Park area. I've seen the reality of poor choices and I've overcome extreme adversity. Right. So I know all too well the decisions that I made in the past mm -hmm. and the decisions that I chose to make. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want help at one point in time. I'm still in my communities on a daily mm -hmm. basis, 4th Street, College Park, Parkland, and I'm talking to a lot. But I'm not even talking to these guys. I'm just walking through and I'm allowing them to allow the wall to come down. Because the reality of it is a lot of them just don't want to hear it right now. Mm -hmm. That's just where they are. When you go into these, these areas that we call strips, where they have the guns, and where they're doing the things they're doing, the reality of it is they don't want to hear what you're talking about, about get your life together. Yeah, yeah. And I think the reality that we're not looking at that, and I think a lot of people are, are, are becoming dictators and saying what they're going to make people do. But see, we can influence people okay. to want better, okay. right? We can influence that. And so, again, that's, that's what I bring to Ward 8 is, is that influence. Okay. Well, I look forward to seeing your campaigns, you know, and I'm excited you gave me the time, you know, to come here. And thank you for reaching out. And um, Busy With Be is here. Once you come on, you part of the family, you know. Can I get my information out? Go ahead. And if anybody would like to. Oh, and we have another question here, Busy B. I do have a question. Go ahead. Hi, my name is Denise. Hello, Denise. And my question is, when you said about the influence, you know, the influence of the youth, it was programs once before. Yes, kids don't want to sit down in the programs, and that makes it a little awkward. Mm -hmm. But I don't need the mic. I told him mm -hmm. I, I hear you. I hear you. When you say you come from Congress Park, I feel like it's a lot of programs over in Southeast area. Okay. It's not a lot of programs in the Northeast area or in the Northwest area that should be in that area. Like, when I was going to school, they had a the best friends program for girls. Mm -hmm. They don't have them programs no more for these young girls out here. And I do want to start a nonprofit organization for young girls because I have a 15 year old doing it and I'm 30, so I'm growing with her. Okay. And she's growing with me. So you saying that in mental health, I'm dealing with that right now because my daughter suffers from anxiety. And I suffer from bipolar and depression, anxiety from me growing up and how I had to deal with things being a young mom. At a young age, yeah, and me having to teach her about the streets and school smarts because you don't get that. The teacher's mm -hmm. sitting in the class and like, okay, well, I'm trying to teach her childhood. 
the child is scared to actually even ask a question because yeah, the anxiety that they built up and all the stuff that's going on around them because they scared, they don't know how you going to act or the kids going to jump on them because they asking for help. It's a lot with that. Now you know <laughs> your ward, that's fine. Right. But what is y'all going to do like for the community period, DC period? Yeah. It's always about just certain wards. I feel like why not stretch that to all the wards? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't. It's like it's always just this certain war, and it's always over southeast. What about mm. west? Right. What about northeast? What about them? Like, what about us? That's a question uh, probably yeah. bigger than Chris Cole. No, 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 <laughs> it, no, no. I think that. I think that. What about it, us? <laughs> I will add, as like I said um, previously, uh, I started a youth program in War Seven. I work in War Seven. But it's like, and, like and, sorry to cut you mm-hmm. off. It's like it's always with the boys too. That's another. Let thing me let me say this. Let me help. Let me let me girl. let me say this though. You gonna be so excited about this next announcement. Okay. When I tell you so super busy will be excited because I'm excited just thinking about it because what it is is what you gave me is just, just a little confirmation of the way I'm going and some of the journeys that I'm working on because I'm not going to let the cat out the bag. You're not going to do that to me. Yeah, but go ahead. And, and so, I, I, so I'll skip a little bit and I'll go back to uh, what you said and what she just said about the programs and nothing to do for the kids. I think right now during the pandemic, that stands true. Uh, prior to the pandemic, man, my campaign manager, every Friday and Thursday, we were in Ward 8 and we were at recreation centers. We were at, um, uh, what's it, Fort Stanton. We were at Faribi Hope. We were at the uh, Mary Merrick Center. Uh, and I, there probably was one more that we frequented, uh, the Burry Farms Recreation Center, right? Uh, we also used to go to the uh, Martha's Table. Mm-hmm. And so at talking to individuals, what I learned is that they have space. However, they don't have individuals that are coming in there to fill up the space in the recreational centers. Mm-hmm. So we do have individuals that are on the basketball courts. We have individuals that are on the football court. Mm-hmm. But we don't have individuals that are in these rooms. So they're saying we can't even bring people into the rooms because we don't have bodies. So then we look at why they're closing recreational centers. They're closing recreational centers because our kids are too caught up in telephones. Yeah. Okay. Our kids are too caught up in telephones. Our parents are not influencing their children to want to go out and do nothing but what they're doing. Yeah, we got one more. We got a question from a youth. Yay! Go ahead. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, so young man? My question today is because um, you know I am one of those youth. When you say that there's programs and things like that that is around, um, you know, I just want to say, you know, like where are they? You know, how do we get to them? A lot of people don't even know where to stop. When you say anything about these programs, they don't know where to go to enroll in them. They don't know where to go to get into them. I mean, there's a lot of people who sit on the sidelines and, you know, who wait for things and opportunities like that, who are willing to, you know, be involved in that, but there is no way or there is no way for them to figure out how to get involved with that. So when you say that there's programs, it's like, okay, majority of the programs that you all offer are pretty much mentor programs, a talk. It's okay to have a talk, but a lot of people don't have time to talk right now. A lot of people want stuff like employment opportunities, you know, things to do to make money. A lot of people that aren't, don't have it. A lot of people are unfortunate. So for them to just sit down and just have a talk, you know, that's not enough. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people like to see more like, instead of them just, you know, receiving a talk, maybe figuring out some ways they can get paid to maybe do this or do that or get involved. You know, it's a lot of things. I know I don't want to say it's all about money, but a lot of people don't have the things that they should. Yeah, a lot of people are unfortunate. Yeah. So like, yeah. I love it. Yeah, the majority of them, when you say programs, a lot of people just want to sit down. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people just want to sit down and like have like talks with you and you know tell you about what's going on in violence. I understand that. I understand the violence is going on, but how are you going to make me or allow me to make my future better by just sitting down and having a talk with me and telling me about the area? I already know about the area. I see the news just like you see the news. We have murder mayhem on Instagram. We all pay attention to it. But what are you doing to change that other than having a talk with me? I can see it. What are we going to do to change or fix that problem? Is my question. I love Thank, it. I love it too. Thank you for that question. And you were and, and, so well and spoken. And yeah, and very strong. Yeah, I, I definitely appreciate that. Uh, what I would like to say to you is that it's the access. Now I don't know. Maybe I said that before you entered. However, it's the access to the information, and it's the red tape. So you're right. People can't keep talking about it. 
However, when it comes down to providing you young men access to this information, that's where the problem is. Now, let me say this real quick. Again, I probably said this before you came into, I'm a returning citizen. So I've seen the reality of poor choice and I dealt with those barriers, mm -hmm. right, in, in, to employment, right? So I had to create a program for myself where I was the same young man like you was saying, listen, all y'all doing is talking. After I got older, let me say that, when I got right. to a certain age, right, I was well in my 30s by this time. And I'm like, y'all ain't doing nothing but talking. So I can only imagine what the youth are going through. And this is one of the main reasons why I decided to campaign for Ward A City Council member, because I realized that you guys don't have the equal access to the information opportunities and the services. Now, let me close with this. The Department of Employment Services have, has numerous programs and opportunities there that can get you into something that you can be paid. One, one main thing is the apprenticeship council, right? The apprenticeship council has journeyman degrees in electrical, HVAC, plumbing, et cetera. What they consider these, they consider these the second degrees. So you can get a degree in education or you can get a degree in technical. Once you complete your journeyman, most journeymen start out with like $60,000 a year. Now you can go through the Department of Employment Services to find these apprenticeships, but not just that. They also have DC networks. Right, DC Networks is where you go. You upload your resume. Now, and I can give you all this information. I can yeah, I was. You. That's and, you know what I was yeah. just gonna say that I really would love to like um, exchange information. Okay, that's you fine. know, you're very knowledgeable. I hope you guys stick around for this announcement because okay, I'm so excited. And then you you will understand why I'm I'm asking for your information too. You're very knowledgeable, so I I just appreciate you speaking to this young man the way you are and if we can give him some resources yes. you know the you know what i mean so he going to stick around and i'm about to welcome up <laughs> look my life coach my therapist um i'm so excited to share her with you guys and she's going to be around y'all got the so i'm about to welcome Linda Best to the stage thank you so much Christopher go <laughs> All right. Hello, everyone. Yes. Hold All on. We're right. not on can yet. I, can I just say this? Thank you, man. One second. Okay. Okay. One okay. second. I don't know. I ain't go to break. <laughs> oh, there we go. We ain't going to break the day. So, guys, I'm so. When I tell you this lady, right, is so significant to me, right? I started on a journey with her almost about two years ago so she's really seen my transformation she was with me when i was pregnant with bella you know she's been with me i mean when i tell you when she met me you know i prop i know i was just so broken you know and i i will always just go to her and say i'm praying for a miracle you know i'm praying for a miracle you know and I found out later that the miracle was me. I was deep in depression, a lot of anxiety, not feeling good enough. And I, I share my story because I hear you, I feel you. When you was talking, I got chills. I got chills just, I'm so passionate about what I'm doing, but what I'm telling you is, if I can do it, man, anybody can do it. I'm trying to tell you. I was so broken. And when I tell you, she holds all my secrets, right? <laughs> so it's, it's nothing like a therapist. Because you never got to worry about, you never got to worry about hearing it in the streets. You know what I'm saying? And when you can find, my, my, my journey was to find someone in the natural life that I can confide in. Because I had all of this stuff in the, inside. And she was like, well, you need to open up. When I'm telling you, she coached me. Yes, I did homework. I did. I you have to want to do the work. So I did the work, and I was working on myself. And I, I, I had her. And I'm telling you, I, when I was deep down, I mean depressed, I wanted to run my car into a tree. I couldn't look at my baby for three months. It took me a long time to see how beautiful my daughter, my daughter was. So it was just on top of postpartum depression. I was already depressed, and I still. You know, go through life. You know, we still human. So I'm still, it's every day is a new day. Every day is a different, I ain't gonna say struggle because you watch the words you use, but every day is just, whew, you can just look at it and tr truly 
make yeah. your life what you what you want it to be, and don't be so we so hard on ourselves. Yeah, you know, so, so she taught me how not to be so hard on myself. I'm so forgiving to everybody else, but me, I will beat myself in the ground. Oh, why did I do this? No, okay, I did it. I'm gonna dust myself off and try again. But anyway, I'm excited to share her with y'all. I can I can just talk all day. Okay, so let me tell y'all what our announcement is. So, uh, so busy busy would be is also a nonprofit. It's called Busy Being Beautiful. That's my nonprofit. It's for young girls and moms. Okay, to help. Us transition. At first, it was just young girls, and I was telling her my idea, and I'm just like, well, I'm a young mom, and I'm a young single mom, and I just need a support group, and we just need somewhere where we can go. We can go and take our communities back, or we can go teach self-love and self-awareness, and long story short, every week, guys, we will be coming on. We have a Busy Band Beautiful podcast. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so yes thank you so busy busy will be i ain't going nowhere i'm gonna still be part of the listen vision family i'm not going anywhere but busy being beautiful podcast is gonna be for us we're gonna talk about all our issues how to overcome how to forgive how to love on yourself Ooh. when you feel like ain't nobody loving you i mean basically i'm gonna share my story in hopes to just help one person because like i said I couldn't look at myself in the mirror. Okay, y'all look at me. Y'all be like, oh my gosh, you're so cute. But if you don't feel it, if you don't know it, like, I, I'm just saying. I just start praying and meditating and connecting with the universe. And wherever you put your energy at is um, no judgment. You know, mm -hmm. God, the God in me. And just seeing all of that good stuff. But I'm going to let her talk. Come on, you got to give a clap up for that. Come on, y'all. Come on. Listen, there's a lot to be said about resiliency. And one of the things I got to say about me, I tell you what, she has, um, she just amazes me. That just this vision that she's had and her story, her story is going to touch so many lives, and I know it. She always say that. I know it, you know. Uh, she's got that faith, that, um, that, uh, uh, that calling on her. I, I know what that is. And... She's absolutely right. Your mental health is so important. And no one talks to us about it, right? Not in school, no anywhere. So I got this vision in my mind that somehow we'll get into those schools and figure that thing out so we know how to think for ourselves. And that's how we change our futures. We think for ourselves. And not have everyone just kind of put that information into us. And young man, you are on your way. Woo! Oh my gosh! Yes! When I tell you, you speak so... I profoundly, I was like, listen to you, okay? So I'm just, I'm excited. And so the, my niece and, you know, my, these my nephews, guys. And you see us, like, whenever you see me, I am I just have her under my wing because I just feel like right now, this is the time where they figuring it out. And I wish I had someone to help me figure it out earlier. You know what I mean? And And just know that... Just one step of faith, I promise yeah. you can change your whole life. Absolutely. You might just trust your process, even when you don't understand. So that's my, that's my motto. I trust my process, yes. even though I don't understand. And so mm -hmm. that's who in the building, my nieces and my nephews. Awesome. And so I'm just, I'm just loving them coming to watch me and show me love. And she got to see my journey. And when she started seeing me rap and stuff, she was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, um, B, you have really grown. So just, you, I'm just so happy. Oh, man, I am too. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you so much for having me. But we all need each other. Everybody in this room, mothers, fathers, sons, nephews, we all need each other. We got to tell people what the we Busy Band Beautiful podcast yeah. is going to be about. So the, so the Busy, busy Band Beautiful podcast is exactly that, okay? We're going to just talk about, you know, turning pain into power. Mm -hmm relationship stuff y'all anybody that watched the busy with like b that. show know how much i love relationships yeah. but just even how to overcome and just your relationship with yourself mm -hmm. and you know uh just giving different perspectives and so it's gonna be still guest women guest moms i guess i'm gonna be doing like little things like events like little intimate settings because i i like it's gonna be more of like a radio thing i will record some stuff but I want to I wanna create an environment. Like, this is too busy for me. I want people to come and open up and mm. we share stories and, and just love on each other. 
love on each other. Yes. You know what I'm saying? We don't do enough of that. We don't love on each other. So yeah, yeah, I'm excited about it. I, I, I am. I'm, I'm excited. excited Cause about she gonna get, yeah. she gonna give the professional. You know, we we look, we gonna be. A <laughs> <laughs> she gonna help us really back in. So I, I mean, that's really important. Yeah. Even on this show, it's so important that when we share heavy topics, that I don't let them walk out the door feeling mm-hmm. heavy. So I hope that y'all get that. I hope y'all get that from my energy. I, so. I, I think I'm talking too much, and I'm gonna see this. This is what I do. Let me let Linda talk. Introduce yourself. Tell 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 everybody about you. Oh, How about did you? Me? Yeah, oh, that's it's not about a whole you. lot to say about me. But uh, <laughs> let's see. Um, I love people. Uh, I can tell you about my business. I I, I stepped out on faith uh, August the twenty eighth and kind of left the private sector and the public sector to start my own counseling business, mm-hmm. and that's best thinking. Uh, I'm playing on my last name a little bit. My name is Linda Best. <laughs> so I figure best thinking. That's a way to kind of uh, pour back into the lives of folks. Um, so that's kind of where I am with it. I am a military retiree. I uh, retired about 20 years ago. Yes, I am an old woman. Yeah. <laughs> so about 20 years ago, retired. Sure and um, like just want to do my very best to, to help as many people as I possibly can while I'm still on this earth. And that is my, my mission to just add value to the lives. And this lady right here. Yeah, she said I helped her, but she really helped me too. Because I think that's just how it is. That. You know, we kind of sew into each other. You know how to earn, sharpens iron. Oh, absolutely. It's so true that stories, our stories are important. And as we share them with each other, we get stronger. And that's the way it is. Yeah. And so I'm hoping that one day I hear your stories as well. And so we can, uh, you know, change the world together. We're going to change the world. We're going to change, change the world lives. Together. Yeah. I mean, it's just so important. Like, in Absolutely. our community, like, as women, you know, and that's my focus. I know a lot of times mm-hmm. it's like, you know, the men focus on the men. I'm really so gung-ho on moms. And, yeah. and, and you know, I have two girls and my beautiful niece who I just want to see blossom into this beautiful butterfly. That You know, I just, yeah. I'm excited about the future. Getting resources out there. You know, mm-hmm. all of that. We need yeah. help domestic violence is up you know and just mm-hmm. why you know i've been through so much i cannot wait y'all gotta read the book though okay <laughs> i cannot get on this show and tell all my tea okay y'all gonna just have She's to so y'all i'm yeah. trying to tell you y'all gonna have to read y'all gonna just have to y'all gonna have to read the book okay so that's what i'm working on anything coming up i think we kind of can we take um we gonna take a mini break i did say we wasn't going to break y'all but Something came up. I'm going to need to take a break. Be right back. Busy with B-Style. Peace. Getting busy with B. Getting busy with me. I'm too busy being beautiful, loving and free. Getting busy with B. Getting busy with me. I'm too busy being
would be getting busy with me. I'm too busy being beautiful, loving and free. Getting busy would be getting busy with me. I'm too busy being beautiful, loving and free. Getting busy would be getting busy with be. She too busy being beautiful, it's busy to be. We busy being busy, maybe that's the way it should be. I tune into my station, baby, and get busy with be. Getting busy with be. Baby, and get busy with B. But what we talk about, uh, we can talk it out, uh, latest news, advertisement, what we bark about, uh, charity, celebrity, what we talk about, uh, therapy, prosperity, what we talk about, uh, I'm from the nation cap, uh, home of the Nets. We winning on you, Bamas, baby, best believe it. We losing all uh, youth and black on black violence with straps. Can't depend on politicians, gotta watch our own back. Put the guns down, youngins, life's about funnin'. Hate to see few. The roads but love to give money. Shout out to VA and PG. You see us coming. MDDC. B more what it do, dummy. Getting busy with B. Getting busy with me. I'm too busy being beautiful, loving and free. Getting busy with B. Getting busy with me. I'm too busy being beautiful, loving and free. Getting busy with B. Getting busy with B. She too busy being beautiful. It's busy to be. We busy being busy. Maybe that's the way it should be. I tune into my station, baby. Uh, what we talk about, uh, we can talk it out, uh, latest news, advertisement, what we bark about, uh, charity, celebrity, what we talk about, uh. Guys, so we are back, I'm in the studio, it's a whole party in here, for real, it's my birthday, we all got our masks on, we all celebrating life, prosperity, and we celebrating me, okay? Self love, self care, busy will be birthday, oh, they say I should say anniversary. But it's my birthday, okay? Birthday just sounds so much better. You know, when I'm married, then I'll use the word anniversary. Right now, I'm single. It's my birthday. That's a whole different type of party. You know what I mean? So talking about parties, I want to bring up this young lady. She is just, when I tell you, her soul is beautiful, okay? On top of that, she make the best drinks, okay? The best rum punch, I mean, I just adore her, okay? So I'm about to bring up Shayna. Come on, come up. I want to introduce you, because y'all need to know. Y'all need to know. Y'all need to know who gets busy with be right. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to know, you know, who gets me right. My bartender, she's my personal bartender, but I'm going to share it with y'all or whatever, okay? <laughs> Shayna, introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Sheena, the owner of Perfectly Poor LLC. Uh, bartender service. I used to do parties and weddings. Um, and now, you know, since COVID, we're selling our pre-mixed drinks already bottled for you. And you, I mean, it's just like, she pivoting, guys. Mm -hmm. COVID happened. She shows up. I show up to her events. I'm, look, I'm like, you going out today? And it's just so I could go and promote. But I just love everything you're doing. Oh, thank you. And I just appreciate you sharing your time. Because you really, I mean, I know we talking about... Hey, birthday yeah you, thank you it's my whole birthday y'all gotta, gotta let me live okay it's my birthday how is the drink kim you love it okay cute 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 so guys but the party is going on i want to bring because linda linda best right she's gonna be hosting with me and she thinks she's gonna get out of actually hosting with me but she not <laughs> so while Sheena getting them drinks ready. Okay. Shout out to, um, tell people where they can find you. Um, Instagram. I will have cards and everything coming soon. But right now, we're just on Instagram at Perfectly Poor LLC. B is working with me. We're about to have it all together. No, we really going to have it. We really going to have it all together, guys. And um, she will be right there by my side when we doing the Busy Band Beautiful podcast and we trying to you know loosen you up so that you can share you know all all you know all responsibly you know we we will just have a good time you know so i'm excited to welcome her to the busy will be family thank you woo woo Did you woo 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 so guys um i'm gonna close out the show 
But I'm gonna close it out just letting you guys. I mean, it's my birthday, so I could just talk about me because you know, I you know, I share my stage and I'm always listening to everybody. But I, I, I was at a point where I was always afraid to ask for donations and ask for help, guys. The support on these sweatsuits when I tell you, ladies. Oh my gosh, the support has been so real with these sweatsuits. Y'all are loving the Busy Will Be sweatsuits. I had everything decked out. I was running a little late, so I went, I'm going to actually be doing a raffle. I'm giving away a sweatsuit of your choice. I got all sizes, solid colors. The minimum raffle ticket is going to be $10, okay? So that's all, $10. So I'm gonna start the raffle. Hmm. What's today? Monday? I'm gonna start the raffle tomorrow. And I'm gonna run it all week. And then I'll announce the winner on the show next week. Okay, so I'm excited. I'm excited to give. I'm excited. I don't know. I might do two sweatsuits. I don't know. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna put a little packet together. Shana gonna throw a cute little situation up in the bag. Um, my spiritual bracelet. I'm introducing that. And I sit it in the sun and I put all that good energy, that good intention into it. So I'm going to throw that in the bag. I'm going to throw some of my other busy with me. I'm just going to have fun, okay? We're going to have a, a good time. And, um, yeah, I'm excited. So I got that coming up. I wish I could make a whole lot of announcements. But because of COVID, you know, I'm kind of booking, like, one show out, one show in advance. Domestic Violence Month, guys, okay? I know I don't, you know... I kind of try to avoid it because I don't really like telling my story. But Domestic Violence Month, okay, we might need to get into some. This, this is the moment when you like busy being beautiful, okay? But, yeah, so we need to talk about it, okay? And um, only punks hit girls. And girls, if you hitting that man, don't hit him, okay, because he going to hit you back, okay? Because uh, it go both ways. A lot of times we get a guy to slack, but in our community, look, but just keep your hands to yourself. I mean, most of the time, if you hit a woman anyway, you ain't fighting that dude back. But you'll be in the house beating our ass. Excuse me for that, but I'm just saying. But, anyway, sending love to all of You know, I'm just... I'm just happy. It's my birthday. I'm feeling a little good, so forgive me. But it's my birthday, okay? I'm going to see y'all next year, okay? In October when I'm celebrating my three. I'm not giving up. I'm going to be fighting and fighting and fighting. And y'all just keep buying these sweatsuits. And men, oh, my goodness, when I tell you what I got coming for y'all. But um, I'm not telling y'all to the show. <laughs> anyway, I'm so excited to t embark on this new journey, busy being beautiful journey. I do have a 5013 c I am going to be helping young ladies from all walks of life, young girls. We're going to get it. And I know I can't do it alone. So if you have a passion like I have a passion, if you think it's something you can bring to the organization, I'm always open. I'm always open, okay? Just don't be crazy, okay? <laughs> Look, my producer in the background like, it's time to get off air. Anyway, make sure you guys tune in each and every Monday right here, Listen Vision Studios. I'm so excited about everything, but it's my birthday today. Did y'all get my balloons? Anyway, I'm going to see y'all next week. Thank you. Thank you, Christopher. Thank you for coming out. Linda, best. Y'all going to see her all the time. She is really my best friend. She don't even know it, okay? But she is really, like, my best friend. I'm always sending her car. I'm like, send me your car, girl. I just know how my life changed, okay? So let's get the help that we need because once you in control of your mind, everything else will follow, okay? So I will see you guys next week right here on the Busy With B Show. <laughs> Loving it free. Hey. Okay. No, thank you so much. I no, when I tell you, I'm gonna reach out to her. Cause I just feel like she's busy with me. Getting busy with me. I'm too busy being beautiful. Loving it.